Welcome to Celebrity Home Shopping. I'm your host, Samir. On today's episode, we're taking a look inside of Leonardo DiCaprio's recently listed Malibu, California home. Let's take a look inside. Here's what I love about this house. We love these planters. Inside, we love this kind of rocker light switch. We like these beams that go towards the ocean view. We like that the chandelier isn't coming out of the middle of the beam. We like the galley kitchen. It's Ted Lasso. We like that it has a solid 3 BMS. We like the herringbone design in the backsplash. We like that the kitchen has a lot of drawers instead of cabinets. We like this circle mirror in this bathroom and this one in this bathroom. And we like this circle window in here too. We love that there's a bench in the shower for you to sit on and let the water hit you while you cry. We like the view of the ocean from the bedrooms. Waking up to an ocean view is the third best way to wake up. We love that there's a chill nook in here too to watch TV while looking outside. We love that there's a big mirror by the bed. Sometimes it's helpful to have a big mirror nearby to watch and optimize your sleep technique. This home is on Carbon Beach in Malibu, which is one of the best beaches there, so obviously this home is all about the views. Living on the beach is one of the best things you could do to ensure living a maximum chill lifestyle. We love the hot tub here. I know you're saying, where's the pool? But at this price range in Malibu, you usually don't get a pool. We love the upper balcony and the lower deck. We love this table. I feel at one here with the wood, the sand, and the ocean. It would also make a great life-saving raft if you are ever in a boat accident and you need one. And we love this perfect lump zone. Finally, we love that there are steps right down to the beach. Standing at the top of these steps and taking a deep breath before you walk down to the water is a vibe vibe. Here's what we hate about this house. We hate the gravel driveway. This is grav hell. And we hate how close the neighbors are. Inside, we hate that the beams stop right at the kitchen. We hate how dark the kitchen is too. This is a beach home, so could we brighten it up a little bit in here? We hate the KitchenAid range. These are pretty nice, but they didn't call them the KitchenAid of Wall Street, they called them the Wolf of Wall Street. So we expect a wolf range in here, especially at a $10 million price. We hate this lamp. This is unhinged. I know we've said that wallpaper is having a moment, but this wallpaper and this wallpaper will not be included in that moment. We hate that there's no railing for the stairs on this side. We hate this ceiling fan, and we hate the same ceiling fan in this bedroom. Just because the home was made in 1950, it doesn't mean the fans had to be also. In this bathroom, we hate the tile, and we hate it in this one. Is this an elementary school bathroom or one for a $10 million home? We also hate the exposed plumbing in here and in the other bathroom. The only place we want to see exposed plumbing is in the bedroom. We hate that these two knobs above the TV are not even. Outside, we hate that the neighbors are still all up in your business back here. And finally, we hate these footprints on the sand. Who was walking here? Not me. This home ranked two and a half out of five on the homies home ranking scale. As always, welcome to the Stats After Show, where we take a deeper dive into the stats. I gave this a two and a half out of five rating, mostly because of the location. Carbon Beach is probably the best beach in Malibu, and it's always all about location, and this is the best location. Other than that, we didn't love the inside too much. Pretty small home, so there wasn't a lot of space for a lot of room. I'd guess new owners will give this place a total good job. Maybe even expand it if they're allowed to. He just bought another home in Malibu for $14 million. And I guess a few years ago, he had bought a big plot of land there for like $23 million. That's still undeveloped. The other waterfront home seems a lot better and way bigger. On a private area called the Blue Whale Estates, I'd never heard of that before. So far on the show, we've seen six homes bought in Malibu for an average price per square foot of $2,200 a square foot. So this list price is pretty high compared to what they're actually selling for, but the location, like I've said, is great. So I wouldn't be surprised if he gets close to this. And there aren't really many pictures of the new place he's bought, but if I find them, we'll definitely review that place. See you all next episode. And a super special thank you to our Patreon Ice Coffee supporters. That's patreon.com slash Samir. With your support, I can be a winner and spend $5 on iced coffee every day. So thank you. And I want to shout out our Patreon Plus producers. That's Spencer, Zachary, Melissa, CJ, Dan, Teddy, Megan, Lauren, Henry, Gretchen, Julie, Bargov, Ellen, and Emmy. Thank you so much. And this time I want to thank our E! Patreon supporters. So let's see. That's... Do we even have any E's? Looks like we don't have any E's. Oh, Evan. Thank you, Evan. And a special homie happy birthday to some of our Patreons. That's KK Weber, Henry Walker, and Wendy R. Happy birthday.
Oh, hey, you're still here? Picture this. You come inside after a long day of drinking on the beach, and you want to go upstairs with some friends to check out your exposed plumbing. You walk up these steps and you're a little bit wobbly and you reach over to grab the railing. When you realize you were too cheap and you forgot to put a railing on the other side. You're about up here when that happens, and then you fall and break your neck. Five minutes later, you die. No thanks.